Hi friends, uh, my name is Ratan. So we are discussing collection tutorial, right? Collection framework. In the collection framework, we done the cursors, we done the list classes. Now we are discussing set classes. Generally, what are set interface implementation classes? Has set, linked asset, tree set. We already completed has set, we completed linked asset. Now we are discussing tree set. The tree set basically from solid set, the data is stored in which order? Sorting order. Data is sorting order means it allows only which data homogeneous data. Because sorting order we can do the only homogeneous data, right? Heterogeneous data we cannot. Right? That's all. And uh, coming to the tree set here, the tree set, the data is stored in which order? Sorting order, right? Default sorting order. Yeah. But I don't want default sorting order, I want my own sorting, customization. I want a customization, right? That's all. So in the tree set, we have the constructor. Uh, the tree set constructor is there. Which constructor here? Comparator constructor is there. Which constructor here? Comparator constructor, right? Now I will do the two examples regarding this comparator constructor. I will do how many examples here? Two examples. Okay, good. In the example one, in the tree set, I will add some data. In the tree set, can you please add Ratan, Ratan, Anu, Durga. How many objects I'm adding here total? Just three objects. Add three objects here. Ratan, Anu, Durga. By default in the tree set, the data is stored in which order? Ascending order, right? But I don't want default order. I want descending order. I don't want ascending order. I want descending order. If you want descending order means that is your own requirement, right? Then take your own comparator. Okay, then take your own comparator. That comparator is doing which operation? Descending order. That comparator object, you can pass the tree set constructor, right? With tree set constructor is expecting which object? Uh, comparator object. Without comparator object, by default, data, data is printed in ascending order. With data is printed in which order? Uh, ascending order, right? But I don't want ascending order, I want descending order. If you want descending order, then take your own comparator just to pass that comparator to this constructor, right? That's all. That is example one I will do here. Yeah. And coming to the example 2 here, example 2 here, I will take the customer data. I will take the customer data. Otherwise, I will take the book objects. Otherwise, I will take the product objects. Frequently taking the data only, right? Book object, product object, customer object, employee object, student object. Now, here I will take the product data. Take the product data. It contains product ID, product name, product cost. Product cost. Okay. So, can please add the product objects into the tree set. Okay, product objects into what? Tree set, right? But the product objects into the tree set means directly sorting is not performed. Why default sorting is performed or not performed? Yeah? Not performed. Why the tree set default sorting is allowed only for the comparable classes. What are the comparable classes? String class and wrapper class only, right? But the product is a string class of wrapper class. Huh? Not a string class, not a wrapper class, right? Then what you have to do? We require the own comparator, right? Then take your own comparator to perform the sorting of product ID. Perform the sorting of data with the help of what? Product ID. That comparator object you can pass to the tree set constructor. Repeating once again. In a tree set, if you are adding the string data, sorting is done, no issues. Because the string data is comparable data, right? Only which data can be sorted, only which data can be sorting is done, only comparable data. What is a comparable data? String data and all wrapper classes data. But my requirement is what? I want to add the product objects into tree set. But product objects is a comparable or not? No, right? That is the reason. I will take my own comparator. I will take my own comparator. Under the comparator, can you please do the sorting of product ID? That the comparator you can pass to the tree set constructor, right? Pass to the tree set constructor. Yeah. That's all. I hmm? will do these two examples. Yeah. Just check the practicals, you will get the more clarity. This is the third constructor, right? That's all. First one is the default constructor. Second one is the adding one collection data into another collection. Third one is the comparator constructor. The fourth one is a solid set constructor. The fourth constructor we'll discuss in next video. Now this video, we have the tree set with the comparator constructor, right? 
while doing the apl application you'll get some more clarity yeah. right just check the video check the practicals now the previously we done the video class number 34 right this is the video class number 35 video class number 35 we'll discuss the tree set constructors only tree set constructor which constructor yeah? the comparator constructor right? this is the constructor yeah. this construct we'll discuss now so it cre creates a new empty tree set sorted according to the specified comparator right they sorted according to what specified comparator or not i'll do the two examples here just to, to check the two examples here to do the practicals just open the eclipse id a tree set examples i create one project right under the project com.dss package is there under the package just right click here click on new right just click on new i want a class the class what the class name here test to class I want main method just click on finish if you want maximize this just double click here maximize right that's all you want which class now tree set right then go to the tree set tree set of generic question is a string tree set t equal to new tree set of generic question is a string right that's it then add the data tree set dot add of ratan so tree set dot add of ratan samhano next one is what durga so can please add the last one is a Sravya. Total how many objects I'm adding here? Total four objects. In the tree set, by default, the data is stored in which order? Ascending order, right? Default natural sorting order. Can please run this code. Just right click here, run as. Right click here, run as Java application. You will get the Anu, Durga, Ratan, Sravya, right? This is called natural sorting order. But I don't want natural sorting order. I want my own comparator. So this is says what? Sorted according to the specified comparator. My own comparator required. Then you can please take the comparator here. Class my comp. This is my comparator, right? The comparator must implement switch interface comparator interface. Which interface here? Comparator. Comparator of which data I want sorting here? String data, right? You can make the generic question as a string data. Comparator of which version here? String the generic version, right? Just to place the cursor. Add unimplemented method. Which method is unimplemented? Here? Compare, right? The string S1, the string S2. Okay? The written type here. You want to compare which data here? String data. String data comparison means we, which method we have to use? Compare to method, right? So now here in sorting we discussed in detail. S1 dot, the method name is called what? Compare to of S2, right? That's it. This is my own sorting, right? But S1 dot compared to S2 means this is also ascending order only. Just here you can make the minus. Do not happen descending order, right? Then tell me here, this is my own comparator, right? This is my own comparator. This comparator I have to apply on the tree set, right? Then tree set contains constructor or not. To this constructor, simply you can pass the comparator object, my compar. Then what happened here? In the tree set, my comparator is applied. My comparator is what it is doing, descending order, right? Now the data is printed in which order, just run button is there here. Descending order or not? Sravya, Ratan, hmm, Durga, Anu. That's it. Yes, Anu, and that's all, that's all. Ratan, sir, can please write one more example, sir? Please, sir. No, please, sir. I'll write one more example. Just t1 equal to simply can write the new inti new tree set, right? New tree set of simply can write the integer data. Okay, integer data, right? Integer data t1 dot add of so you can please add the 10 value like that. You can please add some four values 10, 3, hmm, 7. This is 20. Okay, so sys out control space t1. By default, data is between which order? Ascending order. Ascending order means 3, 7, 10, 20, right? But I don't want ascending order, I want descending order. Descending order means you can create your own comparator, pass the comparator, right? Hmm? How to create the comparator? Tell me here now. Class, hmm. class, my comp1, it implements switch interface here, here, comparator interface, right? Comparator of which version here? Integer. Why I want to perform sorting of integer data, right? That's it. Sir, no, that's that's all. Just add unimplemented method, right? Just to place the cursor, add unimplemented method. Add unimplemented method, right? That's all. 
here simply integer we can make the i1 so simply can make the i2 right simply can write uh, i1 dot the other name is called what compare to of i2 i1 dot compare to of i2 means then what it returns here what it returns here uh, ascending on right you can make it minus minus means what descending out right that's all then this comparator we have to apply in the t1 right just to this constructor we can pass new uh, new my comp one right that's it simply now we can run this code now this output will get the data descending order or not 20 10 7 3 right so no 20 10 then sir here integer here the integer object is there integer object means directly can call what i1 dot compare to also no issues then sir but employee id we are checking double equal to operator greater than less than right why employee id integer type int type employee id int type right int type means primitive type we have this double equal to greater than less than but here data is integer type int type integer type then we have to use a compare to no issues that is also maybe we'll get some con some confusion right repeating once again previously product id employee id is there we are using greater than less than symbols the reason is what employee id product id which type integer type int type int type int type means greater than less than double equal right but now here integer right integer is which type object type then you can use the compare to right no issues we're clear huh? that's all guys Hmm. I will do one more example here with the data, employee data I said, right? Employee data, product data, product data I said. To write the publication, first let me create the product class. Just right click under the package, new, I want a class. What a class name I here? Product class. Product class, click on finish. Then I just, I want the two columns, int ID, int ID, next one is what? String and name product id product name if you want product cast you can make the product cast also double cast right that's it during object if you want maximum just double click here if you want during object creation i want initialize the values during object creation which part executed constructor just right click here generate the constructor don't write the constructor here just right click here source mm, source generate constructor using fields just to click on ok this is constructor right that's it employee id name and cast or not id name and cast convert this local values to the instance right that's all then you can create the class where new the class the class name is called what test3 class main method click on finish the test3 class maximize that's all let me go with the tree set class right the tree set of generic question is type here product type tree set t1 equal to what new tree set of generic question is which type here here product type then you can please add the data t1 dot add of hmm, t1 dot add of new product of product id next one is what product cast product name right product name is what chair product cast is what some thousand rupees thousand point five six like that can please add the three four products here triple one triple three this is triple two this is triple four right but how many objects I'm adding a total four objects chair pen so bottle last one is water oh, phone right that's it so here 100 rupees like 10,000 rupees you can add, add some data that's it guys then I want print the data on the tree set on the tree set just to print the data by using for each loop what syntax eh? for colon right hand side d1 left hand side is t1 is which type of data product type right the product product p right that's it just print the data the sysout control space p dot id plus space hmm, plus p dot name right the last one is what p dot cost uh, plus p dot which one here cost right hmm, that's all guys Why it's saying error message here? Okay, plus operator issue. Just a plus. Mm, plus space plus p dot cost, right? That's it, guys. 
Okay, clear? That's all. Simply can run this code first of all. When we run this code, you'll get error message. Which error error? Class cast exception. Hmm? Good. You see, read the error message here. Product cannot be cached to comparable, right? Why? The tree set data is stored in sorting order. In the tree set, the data must be which data? Comparable data, right? But this is product is comparable or not comparable? Not comparable. That is the reason I can go with the third constructor. What the third constructor says? Comparator, right? Sorted according to the specified data. According to the my own, right? My own comparator. Okay, point is clear. Huh? So this data is not allowed here because the data must be comparable data only can do the sorting, right? The reason you can go for the fourth th third constructor. Class, you can take the my comp. My comp implements which interface here? Mm, my comp 2. My comp 2 implements which interface here? Mm, implements which interface? Comparator, right? Comparator of which version here? Product. Product, right? That's it, guys. Product object. Hmm? Add unimplemented method, right? Just to place the cursor, add unimplemented method. So not comparable here. We have to go with the comparator actually. Implement switch interface, comparator, right? Comparator object, which required a product, right? That's all. So add unimplemented method, right? Just to place the cursor, add unimplemented method. Come on here, I'm doing more and more examples. Hmm? Just to do the practicals, improves your coding skills, that's it. So no, uh, P1 and P2 objects, right? That's all. I want to print the descending order of product ID. Otherwise, descending order of product name. Ascending order of product name. To get the product name here, P1 dot name. Hmm, name is string data, right? Compared to method. P2 dot, P2 dot name or not. This is my own comparator, right? Just to pass this comparator object to the tree set constructor. This is a constructor, new my comp to right. That's it. So now, now it is applied, right? Now simply can run this code. Just write here, just run run the code, right? Just run it. Now I can check data is printed ascending order or not. Bottle, chair, pen, phone. Hmm? Otherwise, you can make the minus here. Minus means what happened here? Data is printed which order? Descending order, right? You can check it. Phone, pen, chair, bottle. Clear? Huh? That's all, guys. Hmm? If you want ID, means we have to use the double equal greater than less than here because this is the product ID, right? Product is which format? Integer format. Here we have to use double equal to greater than less than, right? That's all, guys. This is the comparator. I hope with these two examples, you'll get some clarity, right? Take your own comparator, pass that comparator to the tree set constructor. If you are not passing your own comparator, by default data is start sorting in natural order. But a product data by default natural order is followed or not followed? Not followed. Why? The data is not implementing comparable. That is the reason mandatory we have to go with the comparator only. So mandatory you have to go with what? Comparator, right? That's all guys. But just to pause, don't sit idle in front of the video. Just to pause the video, try to take the examples. Hmm? You will get the complete notes here. I will almost all this is 35, right? Video class number 35. Okay, and one more video. Next video, we'll think about the fourth constructor. As you know, first two constructor, right? This is default. This is collection data. Adding one collection data into another collection. Now we've done the comparator, right? Two examples. Next video, we'll discuss about the solid set example regarding fourth constructor, right? That's all, guys. So thank you, guys. Thanks for watching. Like the video and comment the video. Subscribe to our channel to get the more updates. Thank you, guys. Bye.